Today on XCA TV, I'm reviewing for you an application that will help you have a better search experience on your phone. Let's check it out. The app was originally featured on the XDA portal by Joe. Now the app itself is basically a simple application. It searches for applications installed on your phone. And as Joe explains to us, if you have a lot of applications installed on your phone, especially with a lot of these new devices with a lot of space and more RAM, we're able to install and download a lot of applications. If you're running a few applications, a handful, and you're selective about that, this application won't necessarily give you or be a big benefit to you. But the ability to search, not just by name, but also having the ability to predict some of the uh, wording that you're trying to type because of the T9 functionality helps and makes things very quick. If we open up the thread, we'll get a, a quick screenshot from the main developer, and his name is Pilgrim. Um, it gives you a quick screenshot of the application itself, uh, a little bit of what it does, um, a, a screenshot of what it looks on the phone, uh, key features on the on the free version, and there's an in-app up upgrade for $1.95 if you want to go to the Pro and you're able to add more things. And there's an additional um, feature that he's having on the Pro from the phone, at least, um, is the ability to add a widget or, and ping it to the home. If we open up the Google Play Store where he has this application listed, just look for App Dialer, T9 Dialer for Apps, uh, and it's by Alexei Masny. Sorry if I butchered that one. Um, and it's been updated as of January 16th, and its current version is 3.2, quick installation. Let's check it out on the phone. Okay, we'll go ahead and open up the application on the Google Play Store on the phone. Look for App Dialer, T9 Dialer by Alek Alexei Alexei uh, Masny and then we'll open it up. Now, just as a heads up, the application itself is a floating application, which means is whenever you activate it, it just you know, goes in front of your screen. Um, very basic functionality, you press C for clear and it clears all the search options you have. If you're looking for, say, a ROM, it gives you the, the next best things where it does, you know, obviously it looks for ROM, ROM here, and then root because of the spelling, because of the T9 functionality, and then also brings up additional applications. Now, this is where it becomes functional. Uh, if you want to launch the application just normally, the, the developer obviously gives you an application launcher. You press it, it comes up, you can add this icon to your home screen. I see that as a very functional way, but if you have something like a launcher that enables you to add gestures to your search, you're able to actually add it to your home screen by just doing this, and then you're able to start looking for applications. The other thing uh, a lot of people might say, well, I have already Google uh, Google search on my phone. If you have an ice cream sandwich or jelly bean around, um, you're probably already used to having the Google search on your phone. So if we just do a Google search real quick, obviously, you know, I can just do ROM same way here. Well, there's a benefit here. Obviously, uh, if I'm looking for the applications the way I'm using Google, it only brought up ROM Manager and ROM Toolbox. It didn't find Root Explorer because it didn't think I'm going there. It is more specific in that sense, but again, if you're trying to do a speed search um, on a phone, I, we find that you know using this application as far as just an option to just use it the way it is, is very nice. Again, I have it uh, triggered to come up by a swipe from the right. Um, you can have it set up by a different option. Uh, and then, you know, it should work very nicely. I like the application. I like the fact that it uses the T9 predictive text functionality to be able to help you search better on your phone. It's not Google search on your phone because it does different things. Obviously, Google search will search your contacts, will search your application, uh, you know, depending on the ROM that you have. But, you know, the application itself does a really good job of searching for your application. Now, you can search by name, you can search by uh, maker. If you look for Google under the uh, Google search, all you get is, you know, Google+. Plus. But under the T9 search function, you get Google+, Plus, Google search, um, and as well as Google voice search. So it does have a little bit more functionality as far as or an improved, you know, uh, predictive functionality in the search. Uh, the app itself and the way it launches, I find it a little bit tedious. Having to have to find the application, click the icon, turn it on to be able to search, in my opinion, that takes more work than having just a one-button search. You now, uh, if you're savvy enough and you're able to reprogram your search function to be able to go to this application, that's a great function, but then you're losing the other option or the other side of the Google search uh, benefit. Um, on my phone, I have uh, a separate launcher that's running on top of my TouchWiz launcher on the Galaxy Note 2. So as you notice, I just did a swipe and it launches it. So for me, that becomes more functional and it does work better for me as far as building the experience. Hopefully you guys like this application. Check it out. I think it's a very good addition to any regular standard ROM. It doesn't need root or anything like that. It will float again over any application that you have running if you, build, you, have, you have the ability of turning it on with the swipe. Otherwise, you have to actually kind of find the icon and click it. Um, like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys next week.